It's a bullseye! <laughs> Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the vlog. Today is Thursday. Today is get your nails and feet done, manicure and pedi, a mani pedi, I think they call it. And uh, we are heading up to Barry, and we will get that done. And then I'm gonna get this trimmed up. I don't want it to be shorter, I just want it to be trimmed. I'm just losing control <laughs> of my facial hair. Didn't have time to shave. I got up at seven, started working on the, uh, the yesterday's vlog took me way longer than I thought and basically I had to hit upload as I'm running out the door uh, I put the thumbnail on titled it and then ran out the door I brought my laptop just in case I get to the spa a little bit early I can open up the laptop and then um, share it on Facebook and all that stuff so that's the way I like doing it through the through the laptop or the computer I don't I don't think I've ever done it through the phone it might help uh, what did we do last night? We watched uh, Now I See You Part 2. Very good movie. Liked it. Uh, a lot of cool tricks. A lot of cool schemes. Very neat movie. I enjoyed it. It's a, a must-see. And uh, go check that out. So what I'm saying is I probably shouldn't have watched a movie. Uh, the, the reason the things happened the way they happened last night and this morning was because... Uh, McCappy day then I worked out and then I got home shot a video edited it and then it was like I don't know eight eight o'clock when I finished finally editing and, and uploading it so I didn't want to edit again the, the today's vlog but it would have definitely helped if I edited maybe just a half hour or got up a half hour earlier but anyway so I, I sometimes just kind of screw myself over kind of not intentionally but I just end up doing it <laughs> Just get used to it. Move on. Uh, so we have to go to the post office. I also have to get, a, well, at the post office, possibly a passport renewal form for Ben, because his is due. 3.30, I gotta go down, pick up Ben, and then go down to Newmarket. And uh, Ben and I, possibly Leah, are going to be, that's a seatbelt thing, because the, the back, backpack is on that seat, and thinking that there's somebody sitting there. Uh, and then we're gonna go do the bullseye axe throwing. So two, two kind of cool things. Uh, plus maybe uh, they'll let me videotape me getting my, my beard trimmed. I think it's called the man, the man cave or the man something, the man shave. <laughs> Let's go. I almost forgot. May the fourth be with you. Somehow made a made it to a Natural Balance Day Spa. It's right there. Krista is awesome. I've been here once before. I made a video for her, promoting her company. I met her through one of the business things, and she rocks. There it is, NaturalBalanceDaySpa.com. Okay, Krista has got my feet soaking. She's gonna have a, I'm gonna have to pay her double or something for these feet. Thank you very much. Got a water, you can have tea. So how's business? Good. Yeah? Good, yeah. Excellent, yeah. 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 I had to come I had to come early, so just to make sure there's nobody here for videotaping. And, <laughs> but I, I called you, I don't know, a few weeks ago, I can't remember when, and I'm like, oh, can you fit me in today? And she's like, yeah, I don't think so, buddy. It's like, it was a Friday, and it was just before the long weekend or something. And uh, you're like, no, that's not gonna happen. So you gotta phone and make plans ahead of time. That's right. Yeah. That's right. 
All right, Krista is all done. My feet look great. Uh, I must, I damaged my toe a long time ago, like probably here, and then there's a bruise that's moved up my uh, nail up to here. And it's almost at the point where I'll just get clipped off eventually, but uh, so she did a great job. I went with uh, <laughs> cedar and saffron body lotion for the last stage, but uh, whoops. I forgot it's a recliner. All right, gonna put our socks on and then go over to the manicure. All right, it's manicure time. Look at this. The, just the layout and everything just makes you wanna, it's all peaceful, peaceful and looks great. All right. One hand at a time, I guess? One hand at a time. All right. Should I take my ring off? Uh, no, it's fine. Okay. So we're going to start off with, uh, I guess, shaping. Yeah, we're going to shape them and then we'll do the cuticle work. And then the all super awesome sugar rub. <laughs> all right, Krista, thank you very much. You're welcome. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Have a great weekend coming up. Yes, you too. All right. All done. The manicure, pedicure. That's about an hour and a half. It's 11.30, yeah, hour and a half. Okay, let's go see if we can get uh, my beard trimmed up. Yeah, that's what it's called, the man zone. I totally keep forgetting, I keep thinking it's called man's cave. <laughs> Hope it's not busy, for my sake. Hello. Hello, how are you? How are you, how are you doing? Good. I'm not here for a haircut, <laughs> but I need this done. There you go. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Have a good weekend. Yeah, you too, enjoy. All right, thank you. Ciao. All right, that was Pete. Did a nice job. He did it and it was kind of all rounded and I'm like, yeah, can we make it more square? Because he's like, is that, is that how you like it? I'm like, yeah, I want it more square. And he's like, no problem. So we did it. I think I want it more, even more square than that, but. All right, what are we gonna do next? What are we doing next? I gotta go online quickly with my laptop. And uh, so I forgot to put the end card on my video. I gotta make sure that my video is up to speed. I kind of ran out of the house. All done up and bury all the things I needed to get done. And now we are headed down to Lafroy to the post office because there's a box. Uh, and I also got a letter from uh, an awesome subscriber by the name of Chris. I picked it up yesterday, but I didn't have time to put it in the vlog. So when I get home, I'll talk about that when I get home. So stay tuned. Office. Pick up a package. Don't know what it is. Don't recall ordering anything. Don't recall anybody telling me they're sending me something. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Oh, well, thank you very much. You're welcome. I bought this uh, envelope because I got to mail something out. And it came to three dollars and five cents, and. Uh, I'm like, oh, I wish I had five cents on me. And the lady behind me goes, oh, I've got five cents. So she gave me five cents. I'm like, thank you. All right, and the package is from Muskoka Bearware. Mr. Fish, Mr. Fishman, Mark, what did you do? These are so hard to get into when you guys like tape the crap out of them. I can do it. Oh, I, what the? There's, there we go. There's like a little bit of character right there. All right, we're in. We're in. There's one back. Are you kidding? Come on. Come on. Put 
bag inside a bag inside a bag. <gasps> oh my gosh. My favorite thing that I haven't got around to getting yet. Check out the inside of that hoodie. <gasps> Guess what I'm gonna be wearing all day today, as soon as I get home. Oh my, this is beautiful. Thank you very much, Mark. Thank you very much, Muskoka Bearwear. I'm gonna wear this until there's holes in it. <laughs> They also sent a really nice letter. Hey, Ken, we really enjoyed watching vlog 1025. In it, you mentioned the Park Green Men's Sherpa hoodie from last year. We're not making that color again. What? This season. Other new colors in the works. So we found one extra large left in stock in the green and thought you should have it. Thank you. Uh, keep up the great content and we hope to meet up, excuse me, in Muskoka with you this season. Uh, we thought it would, it might be fun to record a challenge with you and somehow raise money for sick kids. Just an idea. Anyways, hope you like your new hoodie chat soon. Cheers, Kevin and Mark. Thank you very much guys. So anybody watching this vlog, if you want to, uh, I'm going to put that on something at home. Uh, want to give us some ideas that we could do uh, to raise money for sick kids, uh, some type of a challenge between Kevin, Mark, and I in Bracebridge, in the store. That would be very cool. So leave the comments in the comment section below. Don't forget to check out uh, Muskoka Bearwear. Um, obviously, I've got the last uh, really cool hoodie. I can't wait to see what other colors. Maybe we'll visit them uh, next time we go up to the store. Cool? All right, let's go home. What do you think, ladies and gentlemen? I just put it on. Uh, put one of my like army colored shirts underneath it. Put this on top. <sighs> Sweet. And this hoodie. It's all nice and lined with the Sherpa. It's all soft and warm on this crappy cold Canadian day. Although I was wearing shorts and short sleeve shirt. It's like, uh, I don't even know what the temperature is. It's not very warm, but it's not freezing, but so it's, yeah, 12. 12 degrees, maybe 13, which is around 58 degrees Fahrenheit for you Americans, Americans. Chris Harold, one of our awesome subscribers and supporters of KB Productions TV, sent me a Tim, a personalized Tim Hortons card Check it out. That is so cool, Chris. Chris Harold, you rock. Uh, Chris Harold uh, supports us on Super Chat. He also supports us on Patreon. And now he wants me to drink more coffee. Uh, so thank you very much. That is so cool. I guess you can go online. It was actually sent to me by Tim Hortons through Chris. So the letter just said, uh, Ken Domic, you have just been sent a personalized Tim Hortons card from Christopher Harold, and then the, you can type a message obviously and he said uh, hope you enjoy the custom Tim card look forward uh, for a package from me soon hmm the riddles are pouring in and the suspense here on Ken's vlogs wow this is awesome uh, a day of giving thank you everyone so we've got uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do right now. I think I'm supposed to mail something out. Uh, I also have to download and print uh, the passport thing. Right, Sonny? Meow. Meow. It's just after three. Uh, I cut the lawn because we're going to get 70 millimeters over the next 24 hours, 48 hours. It's going to clear up on Sunday, but by then it's just going to be super, super soggy. So I did the weed eating. Did the cutting, did the blowing, all done. Uh, ben and Leah, cause they're coming with us Hello. to axe throwing. We made it down to Newmarket, bullseye axe throwing. 
and it's raining on my lens. Bullseye. Hello. Good, good morning. How are you guys doing? Good, how are you? All right. Nice. As you can see, we're inside Bullseye Axroin. We got Ben, we got Leah, we got Ken. Greetings. And we just met up with Jonathan. How are you, sir? Ken, yeah, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. We got yeah. Brian here. Brian will be your coach referee here today. Awesome. You guys ready to roll some hatchets? Let's throw yeah. some hatchets. Follow me into the cage. <laughs> Into the cage with a bunch of axes. Welcome officially, this is Bullseye Arena here in Newmarket, Ontario. Again, I'm Brian, I'm here to show you how it's done in case uh, we're a little rusty on our axe throwing yeah, technique. Definitely not rusty, I'm rusty. Yeah. It's, uh, it's fairly simple. Is there, do we have any lefties with no. us? Anybody like their left hand? No. No, left hand pretty much good for nothing then with this throw. Yeah. Uh, whether you want to throw it two hands or one is up to you. Give them both a shot. You'll know right away what you're going to like. Keep it nice and tight. All you got to do is pull it back and forth and just let the thing go. A little suspense to build it up a little bit. <laughs> Put it all together. You're going to step and fire. Nice. Cool. Look at that shot. How often do you have to change these? Oh, the shot, the board's good for a couple of days usually, at least better part of a week. Really, eh? Uh, That's you never quick. know, sometimes they'll have knots and stuff in them, but it uh, looks like a nice fresh face there. Should last us a while. Okay. You know, your first shot, it's not going to be a bullseye. It takes some repetition, takes some muscle memory to really get it zeroed in. I like but that challenge. You want to make it easy on yourself, eh? If you try to go out of the gate, you know, a mile a minute, <laughs> you'll never be able to let the thing go. Let the axe do all the work for you. And you'll get yourself a bullseye. Just repetition nice. it is all that will seal that away. Uh, so once you can do that, you've got some confidence, control in your shot, and worry about cranking it up or not. But in the beginning, power only holds you back. Who wants to try? Ladies first. Volunteers. Ladies first. All ladies us. first. All right. Oh, I guess the ladies got voluntold into it. Right. Voluntold. Choose yourself a weapon. Go, Leah. Go. From there, you're just gonna swing it back, forward, let it fly. Oh, you almost it got it. That close. That was that close. Was close. That, that's what I the one missing step is also the, the one missing step. That's fun. I like this. Yes, you do. <laughs> oh, it's only just the beginning. Okay. Aim up a little waist high. Awesome. Two right, practice makes perfect. All right, let's see what Ben can do. I want to try one hand. One hand. Oh, we had to try the change-up shot on us. One hand seems to play. Oh, it went sideways a bit on you. Yeah. The first one doesn't like to let you have it. Likes to test it a little bit. Let's see what you got in the second one. All looked pretty good to me. Oh, ho, ho. Well, it seems like everybody's getting it on the second shot. Second I, shot. I've got some pressure now. The pressure is on for Ken. You guys ready? Ken, the question is, are you ready? I am ready! Light them up for the first attack. Oh, oh held on a little too long. Second try. First one uh, don't count, second one counts. You're gonna get it. <laughs> oh. Expect this one to go right towards the middle. I'm gonna do a bad Bullseye. Nice. Oh, Nails it. Third time to jump. Three Z's. It'll take a few more practice for all of us. Uh, really fine tune whether you like two hand, one hand. And then we get this kicked off into full force. Nice. It's gonna put every man and woman for themselves. Uh-oh. Right. Everything. Okay. Uh -oh. No teams, no mercy. One of you will get to be the champion when this Woo! is over. Girl. No. <laughs> you gotta put your hair up and everything. I'm ready. I'm gonna put my hair up. <laughs> to collect the title, 
It won't be easy, you need to. First, uh, survive a preliminary matchup uh, where you're, you're really playing with one objective in mind, just score as much as you can. Whatever you score will be ranked from highest to lowest after the season. Drawn up onto the playoff bracket officially. Or to get real, do or die elimination style. Nice. To knock out everybody in your way to the top. Right. We can only right. have one man or woman left standing when the dust settles. Five shots every game to do as much damage as you can. Points are simple. Three points, two points, one. Bullseye three, two for the white, one for the outer red. But it does have to be at least halfway between the lines. I'm not about to give you that as a bullseye. Not, uh, not so easily. If you are feeling pretty bold, confident in your game, these little dots up in the corners will award you brave enough to call the shot. That means you have to tell everybody that's what you want. Kicker is the official call. You know, you gotta scream it, you can't just whisper it. But both the dots are live for five, if you say the words. Okay. So let's um, open the floor up, take a few more shots, work right. on your game. Boyfriend against girlfriend? Okay. All right. Let's see what you guys got. Ready? Take a few more just to warm up. Make sure of it. It takes a few to get real consistent. I do the one hand. I think I'm harder two. Two is easier to start. Uh, one kind of takes a little longer to get. <laughs> yeah, we'll just put trap there. So you'll still want to take your step in and throw just as the you The bullseye? Yeah. At least they're coming back to you. Yeah, let it, let it cook. Yeah, keep it nice and up. Yes. Nice. Oh boy. Yes. Uh oh. Just do that same thing. Put it right up and curl it right back. I still hit it with the actual axe. It was. I had the right recipe. Oh boy. Now everyone's showing me up. I gotta step it up. So here's what we can do to make it a little easier on you. Uh, for the timing ways. Uh, here's what I want you to do. Are you ready? So bring it right up there. Now just take a step forward. And now throw. The, the wood hit the fire. Yeah, you hit the, the kicker with the wood. Kicker! It's still not doing that great. It's still it's a little risk it's flick on it. Nice. Power! Whoa, that's a bleeder. That hit the artery. <laughs> The vital mark. Okay, <laughs> make this one a good one, and it's game one time. Nice. Yeah, there we go. Oh. Sweet. Game one. Game one. This is it. All right. Uh, All right. Only one can survive out here. Who's it gonna be? Me. Nice. After all my starting unlock, I'm gonna butt. I think we'll be gentlemen and let the ladies go of first. Of course. Five shots, take as much with you as you can. High score gets a bye to the first round of eliminations. Now I can start. <laughs> he got one. What? That's the lead for now. Choosers. Oh! Scratching the surface! But it doesn't! Uh, Ooh, she needs Bullseye. That and takes another point. We'll go upstairs for official ruling. It's a bullseye! <laughs> oh. 
Sorry, Leah. <laughs> Five to one, she's running out of time. Two shots left. Smooth. Nice. Right back on your tail. At two to one, she'll catch up. But only left with one shot. Come on, Leah. Bullseye. Okay. Or call the fiver. Bullseye or kicker. Depends on what she's feeling. Kicker. Wow. Oh. oh so close. It is showing from her mark that one of times. Ken wins! Round one is yours! Congratulations, Ken. Safe Thank through you. the first round of eliminations. Ben, uh, we'll, we'll get you to take on your girlfriend here. All right. Oh. You just have to have all the fun. She's outdone him! Two to one! Yeah, perfect timing when you're gonna kick Ben's ass. I like it. He brings in the best there. He was there to tie the game. 2-2. Two, two. Such 
champion match. And you'll need your one shot at this. You'll need to call the kick. Is this for the other way for the two Yes. Okay. But uh, but it'll clear the slate anyway. So you, you don't want to let this one slip. Alright, concentrate on the white shot. Five to five, Ben and I equally uh, missed and got good scores. Ben did get a bullseye to catch up really fast. Uh, <laughs> we've got uh, a really good audience. So this is it, people. This is it. We'll go to sudden death overtime. The best shot wins. One shot? Yes. But you gotta win cleanly. If you both hit one or you both miss, we'll go again. No, that's out. Is that it? It's all over! <laughs> Can be undisputed! Oh. Axe throwing champion of Canada! Nice. All right. He took them right. down one by one. They were no match Thank you. for a cat. What's a guy like you fit into? Oh, oh my, all right. The award ceremony. Jonathan. So, tradition around here, if you're the winner, you get to wear the shirt. So oh, every time sweet. you're around any of these people, they know who the champion is. Nice! There you go, young man. So I have to wear this next time I come, so you people know. that everywhere you go. That's right. Says, Can you smell? Take you that wash it. off. Wash it! <laughs> well, thank you very much, sir. Thank you for coming. It was very cool. Hope you had a good time. Had an thank amazing you, well time. deserved, well deserved. If, if people don't come here, for the coolness of throwing an axe, they're gonna come here just to hear Brian because the enthusiasm, his mustache, and his absolute craziness. We do it right, we And, and us motivating fun. us. That was great, guys. So check out Bullseye Axe Throwing. And what is the address again? It's 17705 okay. Leslie Street in Newmarket. Excellent. And you can check us out at bullseyeaxethrowing.com. Excellent, I'll put a link in the description. Uh oh, that's been ransacked. <laughs> We know who the true winner is, though. It's, just, it's on video. It's you know, you know those sports all guys, they got to watch their locker room, you know? Like, they, right. they, their jersey's taken. All Hold on to that. Thank you very much, Ryan. No, Thank you're you. very welcome. That was amazing. Thanks for coming. Well, I had an awesome time, guys. That was really fun. That was awesome. I, I am definitely coming back. Uh, I would like to, I'd like to do it with, like, you know, 15, 20 people. people yeah. I would like to take multiple people. Yeah. That would yeah. be a lot more fun. Take, take over the whole Domic side. Take, take over the whole building. Get me. Get my mom throwing an axe. <laughs> <laughs>